How are y'all? It's Friday. I'm a kid. Saturday. Paper towel. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. All right, I'll come right back, guys. Hello, hello, y'all. Come on in. Thank you. Huh? I think the volume is up. How yeah, y'all doing? Saturday afternoon, Cooking with Kip Live. We're going to do something real quick. We're going to get out of the way and have a little fun with you right quick. Oh, turn it down to like number two. Yeah. Hello, all. Hello, y'all. Come on in. Hey, Alicia Dotson. So uh, we, we, do, we did some fish last night, right? Yes. We're going to do some fish again tonight. Mm -hmm. We've done some salmon, I think. But uh, to me, it's been a long time, right? Yeah. Um, so we're going to do it kind of the same, a different little spin, but in the same family. I like Asian flavors. Um, so we're going to put a little flavor on it. Then we've got some mashed potatoes, some mixed vegetables over here. I'm going to cook up real quick. It won't take us long. It won't take us long. We'll try not to be long. All right? Yes. That's cool? All, All right. right. So let me do some we salmon. We have some special guests in the house that we need to get back to. That's right. That's the salmon, baby. All right. Salmon, it is. I'm going to say hi to a few people. Chef has prepped the salmon. Yeah. Cut it up. Um, I actually scaled it because I want it um, with skin on. Mm -hmm. And you'll see why I want it with skin on. I want a crispy skin. So I'm going to see that in my... Um, cast iron. No, not cast iron. Oh. Uh, carbon steel. Carbon steel. Carbon One steel. of them. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get that rolling. Okay. Um, the potatoes I've done before, mm -hmm. um, so I had them cooked. Someone asked me one time in one of the other videos. They said, "Where, where was the butter that you put in the potatoes?" I always take the butter and put it into the heavy whipping cream or milk, which one do you like? Mm -hmm. And I melt it in there and bring the temperature up so it don't bring the temperature down on the potatoes. So I already have that ready. Okay. So with that being said, you gonna jump into it? That's hot. Yeah. We're gonna pour a little bit in here. And these are just potatoes that he boiled, <coughs> and it's going to be um, mashed potatoes. He's adding the heavy whipping cream and butter. Thank y'all for hopping on. I know ha I haven't spoke to anyone, so hello all. Get in on them. Yes. So I'm just mashing them with my potato masher, and then I will take my whisk and whisk it up. So. Thank you for the hearts. They look good. Chef is doing salmon um, and mashed potatoes with some vegetables. In the middle of vegetables. Some yes. zucchini, some summer vegetables. Mm -hmm. Zucchini, some squash, some tomatoes. And, uh, this is a meal that you actually, you can do if you were like having a quick dinner. Mm -hmm. You want to pull it off real quick. This here you can probably pull off in less than an hour. Okay. I'll be honest with you. If a fa family of four, you can, I know you can do it in less than an hour. Okay. Hello, Yolanda Lampkin, Jackie Graham Miller, Faith Williams, Rita Bryant. Hello, BFF, Elder R.T. Lee. She has, uh, she and Miss Hattie has uh, first seats in our living room this hour. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Linda Gray, Ruby Robinson Kelly, Maddie Siegler. Oh, I had it. I yes. It. Kimberly Russell. Hey, Donna Shepard, thank y'all for hopping on. Chef is about to get right into it. So, I'm going to whisk those potatoes up. I took, cooked them down, softened them up. I took my heavy whipping cream, butter, put it in a little small saucepan, heated it up. Did you do garlic in the liquid? Yeah, right. I put garlic in the potatoes. Mm -hmm. took whole garlic cloves, cooked them with the potatoes. Mashed them up. And mashed them up. Talk about garlic mash right there, people. Nothing hard. We're going to put a little bit of white pepper. Okay. Hello, Sheila, Alberti Johnson. Even if I'm using a white item, I try not to speck it up too much with pepper. Okay, so, so it's just white just pepper. one of my little things to do. Okay. So you can't even see it, but you taste it. But you taste it. Okay, so that's white pepper. <laughs> Hello, Anna. Yeah, pepper just got to me. Okay. So the white pepper has a distinctive flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put just a little bit more cream in there. Okay. We're going to do one other thing to these potatoes right at the end. Yes. What are we going to do, baby? We're going to torch it with this little torch and put a little brown crust on top of it. Okay. Garlic mashed potatoes, guys. So we're going to taste the potatoes and see where we're at. So, um, are you use, what, is there a specific reason that you're using the whisk? For, to lighten air, them up. Lighten them up. Okay. Fluff them up. And we're good. We're good? Thank we're you, good. Lula, for the stars. The hey, Tanya. The salt went in. 
as I was boiling potatoes. Okay. I used butter, salted butter. Okay. So I didn't really have to add any salt. Any though. salt. Okay. So hey, Latanya Anderson. To the back. Potatoes are ready. Keep it warm. Yeah. Thank you, Georgia Brian. We'll leave that clean there just in case, for some reason, I eat it. Okay. okay. I'm going to get the oven on, which is going to make it even hotter in here. Yes. It's crazy hot weather, man. Crazy it's hard, it's hard hot. To cool the house down. It is. Okay, so I got my skillet here. Um, these fillet, it was actually a whole fillet. Cut it up. Um, I patted the skin. Dry. Dry because I want the skin to crisp up Okay. when I cook it. So we're going to get the skillet piping hot. Okay. We're going to probably be able to put at least four pieces in. At a time. Uh, a okay. Take those out. We'll put it on a platter. Rack. Yeah. You want to get one ready? Yeah, Go ahead. Let me get right here. Hello, Kimberly Russell. I forgot the big pan. Good morning to you lovebirds. Hope you're having a good morning. What are we having today? We are having, Chef is preparing salmon, garlic mashed potatoes, and a vegetable medley. Hey, Brother Gary Craig, thank you for the stars. Janet Hudson Hill, Jan Kitchum. I love potatoes anyway. That's Laquita right. Knight. Right. So we're getting the skillet hot. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use a little bit of grapeseed oil Okay. to uh, sear the Salmon. The salmon. Mm -hmm. um, so initially, what I'm going to do is hey, Carol, I'm brush the skin of the salmon and put just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Okay. Thank you, Lynn Harding. Hello, Arethia Williams, Janice Davis. We are doing well. Hugs and kisses. Hello, so just, Donna Shepard. Just brushing the skin a little bit. A little grapeseed oil. And that's going to help the salt to stick. That's correct. You know. So, Chef, if you're just joining, he did keep the skin on the salmon because he wants a crispy skin. Yeah, we're going to serve it skin side up. Okay. So, we got to put a little oil on there. Barbara C. Simmons. Hello, Deborah Schofield. What kind right, of stuff? I'm going to get some grapeseed oil. Uh huh. Thank you, Fanny Johnson, for passing right. through. Lynn said it's avocado oil. Too heavy no, to sear not, salmon. Not at all. It is not. It's, it's a, a good choice to use. So we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt. Hello, Emma Price, Christy West, Ism, Karen Williams, Sharon Brown. Hello, sweetie. Hope you are well. Just a little bit of pepper. Donna Shepherd, happy birthday to everyone celebrating July. We still in the house, sis. A day or two. A little fresh ground pepper on there as well. And then when I get them in the skillet, I'll brush them all on the other side and do the same as far as the light seasoning. Okay. We're actually going to serve this with a sauce. Okay. So when I pull them out of the pan, we're going to create the sauce right there in that pan. In the same pan. That's right. Can I please have a recipe for this lovely meal? If you watch, yes, is I it in Kobe? If you watch, it's pretty simple. You know what I probably will do if you have YouTube? Mm -hmm. I'll go into YouTube and I will type up the description in the description part okay. of the recipe on there. If you have if not, let me know. All right. Okay. Hey, Liz Jones. Lula. Uh, yes, we will be with Mama Mary tomorrow for Sunday dinner. Sure. So, y'all, we will pop on. Make sure you uh, have your notifications turned on. So Thank you for gonna, sharing, we're Doral. We're get this good and hot. And this is carbon steel? Carbon steel. Okay. All right. Hey, Daisy Haywood, Kelly Sane Skipper, Jacqueline Walker, thank you so much. Janet Garner, hello. I'm going to wait till the skillet get hot, get a little smoke to it, and then I add the oil to it. Mm -hmm. It's going to get a little then smoky. Then I go in with the, uh, with the fish. Okay. I, I, I can smell the smell skillet it. heating up. Yes. Hey, Cousin Lee, Judy Monroe Perry. See how hot it is. We'll be able to tell by the way it dance around. I think it's hot, baby. I think it's hot. Hello, William Taylor. I love the skillet because you can just do, do this. And it kind of acts as a just like a uh, cast iron skillet. Though. Yeah. Um, Miss Lula, we have church. If you did not know, um, Brother Kip is going to be, uh, his ordination is deacon is tomorrow. So we'll be celebrating that. Church. 
Um, so it's probably going to be around 2 or 3 tomorrow evening, Eastern Standard Time. We'll try to pop on. Thank you, Deborah, for sharing. Hello, Fresh Scene, Alston. Right. If you notice the skillet got a little smoke to it. Mm-hmm. So it's hot. Hot. It's so time to add, add, add the, the fish. fish. All right. Hello, Jose. And once you get the fish in. From Brazil. Kind of leave it alone for a moment. Try to move it around, pick it up. It's gonna destroy what you're trying to do with the skin. Thank you for the stars, Georgia Wilson. And there we go. I'm gonna take it a little bit more oil on. Other side. <laughs> you're getting a lot of congratulations, baby. Brush it down. Hello, A.D. Thank y'all so much for the love. We're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to the other side. Congratulations, Deacon Kip. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I just said welcome. Yeah. Stay picking up what you're putting down. Oh, Aw, yeah, hey, we'll Rachel. A little kosher salt. Call your house from the ATL is in. All right, so the salmon is in. Pepper. Okay. A little bit of fresh pepper, and this is a medley of uh, black, white, and red peppercorn. Thank y'all so much. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to share. This is cooking. Chef is making seared salmon, garlic mashed potatoes, and a vegetable medley. Malaysia time is now 5.59 a.m. Oh, wow. Welcome, Tina Garen. Thank you for hopping on. Ahead, huh? Yes. Wow. Or uh, behind. Probably ahead. Yeah. In Malaysia? A.m. Uh-huh. Thank you for joining us from Malaysia. Deacon Chef Kip. <laughs> That's Stacy. Thank you. Thank you, Fanny. Okay. John. Thank you, man. Juan All right, so Jackson. you can see if you're cooking salmon, you'll see this start to change color. It goes from that pink color to a, an opaque, a kind of a, okay. a lighter pink. And you can see the texture changing a little bit. So in just a minute, we're going to flip the salmon. So I'm letting it do its thing. Let it do what it do. Because I want the skin to be crispy. Right. And that takes high heat and patience. And patience. Yes, Deacon, so, that's high. That's right. <laughs> so let's see if the salmon is sticky. It's good. It's good. When you don't have any resistance, that lets you know it's loosened up. I'm gonna get just about 30 more seconds, then we're gonna flip it. Okay. You gonna put this pan on? Yeah. Um, someone asked if you can show um, at some point how to make lemon butter sauce. Okay. Yeah. All I'm gonna do it today, but we will. Yeah. We'll how many potatoes and how many garlic cloves to mash? I use about. Well, this. Hey, Latanya. The amount of people that see, I want it to be gone at the end of the dinner. Yeah. Um, so I use about two pounds, two and a half pounds of potatoes. No, about three. Okay. And four cloves. Okay. And I used about uh, four, five tablespoons of butter and about a cup of cream. Uh-huh. Okay, so we're going to flip the fish. Let's flip the fish. All right. Go. That's a good char. And remember, he left the skin on. Because he's doing a crispy skin. That's it. This is the kind of salmon that you would get at a fine fish restaurant. This is where it's big. This is the objective is to create a crispy skin on the fish. Right. Okay. So we're good. That's, that's what I, what you see is what I was looking for. Okay. Uh, so there'll be a, a little bit of, you can't hear right now, but there's a little bit of a tap. Okay. okay. Thank you, Shannon Thompson, so, for hopping so on. Put that just a little bit more. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And then we're going to put those three pieces. Then I'm going to put it onto the rack. We're going to stick it in the oven. Okay. And let it finish. Thank you, Stacey Hicks. But I ain't going to leave it in there too long. Because I just want it to be about 150 degrees. I want it to be done, but I don't want it to be dry. That's right. And the ideal temperature for an internal salmon is 145 for it to be done. We're going to ease it up just a little bit. Yes, if you don't like dry salmon. Some people like it well done. But that that's calls for a different texture. Hello, Alfred Stallworth. Thank you for joining. 
Thank you. Thank you, BFL. Welcoming our new followers. Look at the fish. Check it out. So it's not done all the way in this side. So we're going to stick it in the oven. Okay. So Chef has prepared the rack. You want to sit it down? Oh, you did it. I'll put it right here. Gonna allow it to stay crispy as well, still. Yes. And the rack, of course. So I'm going to stick it in the oven. I just have the oven at 300. Okay. So I don't want to kill it. Right. And we got three more pieces to cook. Hello, Barbara Brown. Thank you. We're gonna get these in there right quick. Ads, Adrian Washington. I hope I said your name correctly. Welcome to the show. Hello, Jimmy LeBluff. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Appreciate it. Georgia Bryan, thank you. Alright. That's the thin piece there. It won't take as long. Alright. Get that still going. Get this pan washed up. Okay. Hello, Claudia Cole. Cole Ho. Welcome, welcome, Carolyn Ross. Will it be on the board, um, Fanny? I think he's gonna just serve it individually in right. plate. All yeah. Right. I'm gonna plate up one, and then we'll uh, we'll make the other ones off the camera. There you go. Hey, Jackie Adams. Stacy Hicks says, "Have you ever fried salmon in flour like chicken?" I have, I have not for myself. In my restaurant days, I've had to request for them, and I've done it. Okay. I think it's to each his own. I don't like it. Um, I'm, I've never eaten it, but I can't say that I wouldn't like it. Right. So maybe I should jump over in there and try that. Stacey Hicks said, mail her that skillet. That's a good one. <laughs> you like that skillet? Thank you, Dottie Edwards. Yes, hello, Kimberly Stanley. One of my favorites. Um, so you season the salmon with just uh, grapeseed oil, salt, and oh, pepper. Okay. So we gotta yes. go in with a, we gotta put a sauce on the bottom. Because he's gonna make a sauce for it. Hello, Cynthia Battle, Sheila Miller, Pamela Allen from California. Thank you so much. All right, so I got got my oil on. I put my salt and pepper on. Kosher salt. Sad to say, we you got her going to the store for some salmon. Hello, yeah. Dr. Gwen Jarvis. I think most people either they like it or they don't. Or they don't. Yeah. Or they don't decide. Yes. Um, evening, Chef and Ty. I made stove top salmon this week. Tasty. Today I'm celebrating my one year of having my master move. He is awesome, and this has been an outstanding birthday month. Amen. Amen, sis. Um, which I celebrate the entire month. Hey, Amen. Happy birthday. Right, so we're getting there. Let me see what it's fish in. This is a thin piece, so we won't carry with it. Happy yeah, anniversary yeah. as well, Dr. Jarvis. Say you jump. Uh, the way I flipped it, I flipped it toward me. That's why. Okay. This is looking good. Yes. That's exactly what I want. Yes. And don't be afraid to use a another apparatus to help you flip. Sometimes you need it when the pan is so wide. So I just turn that skillet off. I'm going to bring it down to temperature. Okay. Then we're going to create the sauce in the pan. All right. All right. I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting yeah. down. Right. Hello, Lynn Sherry. Put on this pot over here. Potato the pot. Salmon brush skin with grape seed oil. That's right, Deborah. Hello, Ruby Robinson Kelly. That pan is too hot. Yes, it is. He just turned it off. Right. Well, it ain't too hot to cook the fish. Right. Because of what I'm trying to achieve. I, I think if you've never worked in a restaurant, sometimes it scare people. Yeah. The way I'm cooking. But yeah. in the restaurant world, mm -hmm. this happens every night. Yes. High heat. <laughs> gotcha. You know you can't take 30 minutes to cook a piece of fish. So you right. do it like this. Thank you, Sandy, for the stars. Hello, Sabrina Boatman. All right. So we're going to take this off. All right. So those are the other pieces. Boom. Boom. And he's just putting them in the oven to finish off the cooking process internally once it gets to 145. Me, I probably would be okay with that one. I'm going to actually turn the oven off and just let it cook a little bit. Okay. Just let it stay at temperature. All right. Hot. Nah, I cook, but they're paying too hot, Lord said. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get it. Uh, cool down. Sorry. Right. So we got that. We're going to go in and start getting... The sauce together right now. Okay. So I'm gonna take a little bit of. Uh, you wanna wipe that out or you wanna keep it? What's that? That. That all? Yeah. I'm, I need a little bit of it. I'm okay. Pour some of it. Yes. I need a little bit. 
Thank you, Jeanette Cummings. Hello, Mamie Shear, Molly Kennedy. I'm Never kept it with the skin on. I would try it. I think I would like the crispy skin. Yes. I'm going to sit right here for a second. Lola is doing well. She's here. Enjoying her last Saturday before school starts next Wednesday. Y'all keep our children up in prayer. Right, so we're going to go in and as start they start a new year. So, so I'm going to put a little bit of soy sauce in the pan. Okay. A little, right? Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that helped cool it. Then we gotta put a little bit of agave. That sounds really delicious. Thank you, Deborah. So he's gonna make an Asian sauce to go with the salmon. Mama Mary is doing great. We will see her tomorrow. Huretta Walker, thank then you. And we're gonna for put asking. a little bit of brown sugar. All right. So soy sauce, agave, raw agave, and brown sugar. Yes, is it light or dark soy it's sauce? Light. It's oh, the, no, it's, the, dark. No, it's, it's regular. It's, it's not low sodium. It's just regular. Mm -hmm. So I won't be adding much salt to this. <laughs> Make it say a little right. <laughs> Thank you for the star sis, Sharon Brown. I just thought about how much sauce I need, so I need I need to put a little bit more in there. Okay, so you're mixing in the brown sugar and incorporating the agave into the soy sauce. That's right. Okay. So we're going to take and put a little bit of ginger puree. Ginger puree. Lola will be a junior in high school this year. Pray for us. <laughs> Hello, Lizette Jones and from Buffalo. And a little bit of granulated garlic. All right. So that was puree, ginger, and granulated garlic, guys. I need to wipe this stove off, too. Yeah. Okay. So it's starting to smell like something, baby. It should start to smell. It, like it is. Hey, cooking with Mr. Willis C. Happy hey, to see you all. Hope you're well on this hot you Saturday. Hot, it's getting hot and cheer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let me get this back on. Hey, Shannon Armstrong. So it's with the with the brown sugar and the agave, it's going to thicken up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to take and put a little bit of a thickener in it. Okay. We're going to use, instead of cornstarch, what we got? We're going to use arrowroot. Arrowroot. So if you have anybody that's uh, vegan, uh, cornstarch is the same as well. But yeah. I use arrowroot arrow root as a thickener sometimes. I may not need a lot. But I'm yeah, gonna put, it's starting to bubble. I'm going to put a little bit of water in it. Thank you, Lynn. Hello, is it Zawand? I'm going to thin it down a little bit. Hello, Mary Bell. My granddaughter getting ready to go to college in two weeks. Pray for me too and her mother. I know that's right, Sharon. I mean, we want them to be, grow up and be adults, but we hate to see them go. All right, the sauce is doing what I needed to do. It sure is. It's coming together quite nicely, I must say. Hey, Terry Cunningham. Chef has some salmon in the oven. He's making a sauce. We're having garlic mashed potatoes and a vegetable medley, squash and zucchini and onions. Right. You're welcome. Only other surprise I'm gonna add to this. Surprise, it's a little- Coconut milk. Coconut milk, hey, Joanne Murray. Charlene Gators, you got it? Got a little bit of coconut milk. Susan Adrian said you can use arrowroot for uh, Keto, if you're on a keto yeah, diet as that's well. It. Yeah, that's what you was thinking I was of. <laughs> yes. I had a slip of mind there for a minute. Good cooking, yummy. Thank you, <laughs> Zawan. Okay. You want to use a little bit of coconut milk. If you never use coconut milk, you get a chance to see some in action. All right, all right, all right. So this is fresh out of the can. Mm -hmm. Let me show the can of coconut milk if you can grab it for me. No brandy or wine, Kemp? I have, I have a little peach wine. So that's the unsweetened coconut milk that he just added to the sauce. And I'm sure it's going to bring down the salt content of yes. the soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Y'all should be on my, in my, my neighbor. I know Miss Terry All Cunningham. Right. So it's coming together. We're going to add just a little bit of this uh, 
arrowroot slurry to it. Arrowroot slurry, kind of like a cornstarch slurry. Mm -hmm. You pass the arrowroot bag, I'm going to show it. Hello, Vanessa Thomas. All right. So we're going to taste this and see where we're at. Okay, buddy. So this is the arrowroot. It is a starch flour. Great for thickening soups and sauces and pie fillings used for gluten-free baking and grain-free. So it's an alternative. If you have a gluten allergy, Yes, Mickey Goodman, there is. Oh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. You didn't goodness. like it? Oh, my goodness, that's good. You didn't good. like it? <laughs> that is good. All right. So, I could have had some vegetables do this, some peppers or something, but I'm not because I got vegetables on the plate. So, that's it. Fish is here. There's the sauce. So, we're going to slide the sauce. To the side. To the side. That's hot. <laughs> Uh, Lord out. said it's kind of looking like a marsala sauce, Lord Harris. Kind of, but don't even taste close to that. Though. Yeah, the soy don't sauce, even... it has an Asian flavor, definitely. Um, but yeah, it does kind of look like a marsala so sauce, we're, brother. We're going to get the vegetables going. Mm -hmm. We're moving right along. Salmon is sitting in the oven, waiting on the invitation to the party. The sauce is done. Garlic mashed potatoes are in the back, yeah. chilling. Gonna put this on low. Keep make sure it's hot. We gonna get the vegetables in here. All right. To season the vegetables, we're gonna use a little bit of garlic. We're gonna use some white pepper. We're gonna use some thyme and a little salt and pepper. All right. Boom. That's it. Saute them up real quick. And I got some onions, some zucchini, some, some squash, and a little bit of tomatoes on the bottom. Okay. Uh, Zawan says very good cooking chef. Hello, Yvonne Payton. Hello, Mother Lola and Mother Bacon. I think Mom, Big Lola, Big Lola is sleeping right now. Uh, Shannon Thompson, we are in Georgia, right outside of Savannah. Yes, uh, Mr. Willis C. I didn't know you like zucchini. We have to you put do? that. Yeah, okay. he said zucchini is delicious. Okay. All right, so I'm getting the skillet hot. So our vegetables are going to be sauteed here, stainless steel. Got to have an Asian flavor for the salmon. Yes, Asian flavors with salmon do go well. Yeah, getting it hot. We're gonna add a little bit of butter into this. Butter, baby. So during the week, I can't eat butter because I eat too much on the weekends. So. <laughs> I I'm just not hearing this memo, but we gonna roll, <laughs> baby. That's something you just been been practicing yourself. <laughs> so what you trying to say, baby? You're calling me out? No, 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 no. <laughs> um, Jan Kitchen says, did you roast the garlic? or for the potatoes, or you boiled it? I did not, but the roasted garlic would have been even better. Yes. I just boiled it with the potatoes. Okay. But the roasted garlic, I have done the mashed potatoes before. Mm -hmm. But uh, I hadn't done them when I got started, so I just put them right into the skillet. So, we're going in with the vegetables. Onions down on the bottom. Tomatoes up top because they need the less. Yes. Less amount of cooking. Oh, what a bright combination. So we're gonna put a little bit of granulated garlic. Um, Yolanda says, is it okay to eat the bloodline of the salmon? Of the salmon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It'd be okay. Yeah. I mean, sometimes with the big fish, um, salmon doesn't have a major bloodline. Mm -hmm. so but you do okay. get that part sometimes. You do get that part. Yeah. Wish I could attend your ordination. Uh, That's so special. Thank so you, Miss Fanning. Salt. What did I put in there? Salt. White pepper. pepper. I was talking. I don't think I put salt. No, just so white tired. pepper and garlic. Yeah, that's what I put. Garlic, white pepper. Never put a little bit of salt. Okay. Beautiful you know, veggies. Ty uh, Smart never meant to call him a cookout. Just wink. Well understood. <laughs> there you go, brother. <laughs> I know that was Southern cooking. Right. I'm from Mississippi. That's right, Shannon Thompson. All right, so this is not going to take long with vegetables because today I'm, I'm getting a good saute on them. I'm not gonna kill them. No, we don't like killed vegetables. You know, Overcooked vegetables. I mean, sometimes, depending on some squash, I want to kill them. When well, I say kill, but that's exaggeration. But, uh, <laughs> Overcooked. I like a, you know, a little with a little bean. Squash, like mom taught me to. I like that. Don't yeah. But I like the freshness of. Oh, it smells good. It you know does smell good. Hello, Janice Smith. So we got that on high, and it's not gonna take us long. Probably take a little bit of 10 minutes. Okay. Hello, Jennifer Baker McClinton. Right. So while I'm doing this thing, baby, I'm going to wash these off. And I'm going to get rid of 
I'm ready, Yolanda. I'm ready. Video the ordination tie so we can feel like we're there. I was thinking about going live if the chef, Yolanda Lampkin, if the chef says it's okay. And the extra special part of this is um, there are going to be three bacons. So uh, the bacon name is going to be well represented tomorrow at Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church in Groveland, Georgia. Um, so two of his cousins are also going to become deacons tomorrow. So that's extra special for the Bacon family. All right. So what am hey, I doing Hey, Lisa Snotty. Miss Fanny, we are outside of Savannah in Pooler. Put some butter in there, Stacy. I did put butter in. In this veggies? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, chef getting fancy. All right. He done pulled out the piping bag. Hopefully this piping bag don't melt. Okay. Everybody calm down. <laughs> Hopefully it don't melt. We get ready to see y'all. If it melt, y'all don't tell nobody that it melt. Y'all act like it may like yeah. it didn't melt. Act like it didn't melt. <laughs> don't go out telling everybody in the community. You see what he did with that bag? Baden potatoes kind of hot. It was a debacle. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little worried. Oh, right. the veggies looking good. So if you would put a lid on that, that would be steamy. Right yeah, now we're sauteing. Okay. Yeah. It would be okay. I'm gonna get a little sear on it if I can. Let's see how the bag goes. All right, so you know we're gonna go ahead and get ready to get this out of the bag. <laughs> it ain't melting. But it's too hot. Right, you know you don't. You know, gotta have some sense about yourself. You gotta have some sense. Thank you, Stacy. So Thank get ready you, Fanny. To start plating one of these. Terry Cunningham. Because I'm not gonna hold y'all all day. We're gonna yes. get ready to get out of here. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get some potatoes down on the plate. So if you was wondering what I was doing, he is piping these garlic mashed potatoes into beautiful. Woo! -hoo. That's hot, babe. That's hot, boy. <laughs> you okay? Hard to use the towel. You messed up my golf commentator. <laughs> Even I don't know if the church is on video, but I'm I'm gonna do it. So we gonna go in with the salmon? Yeah. Oh, I gotta get the sauce on the plate. Yeah. You know on the spoon right there. Oh, I know Kip is not sipping on anything tonight. Shane Brown, he got to concentrate. <laughs> so we gonna put a little bit of sauce on the plate. Mmm. Happy Saturday, Pamela Dow. Thank you, Alicia, Lansley Lester. Renee Craig, congratulations. Oh, thank you, Renee Craig. Yeah, he gonna clean that plate up, y'all. We didn't take any pictures last night, did No. Okay. Sabrina say fancy chef. Y'all know he is. Back oh, up, watch that okay. Right All right. You want me to turn the veggies off? No, leave them off. Okay. There's a lot going on. Boom. That's it. Vegetables doing okay. Mm. The vegetables are all about to be there. While they're doing this, what I'm going to do with this torch mm -hmm. is this. Give it a little color. Give them a little color. Hey, we're taking you to the Ritz Carlton tonight, y'all. Sure is. We're taking you to the Four Seasons Hotel and we're giving you a five star meal. Yes. So I love it. Come hang out with Cooking with Kip and you get a chance to experience elegance at its best. Okay. Yes. yes, the fish was in the oven, Miss Doyle. Answer the dope. Miss Fanny is open. <laughs> Thank you, Sabrina Boatman, for sharing. All right. Chef is putting a little fire on them taters. Sandy say, dang, Chef. All right. <laughs> I need time. Do it, Chef. That's my BFF. Thank you, Stacy Hicks. We're going to put these vegetables on here. I just took y'all to the Four Seasons Hotel. Right here in our kitchen. Right here. Presentation is everything. You're yes. doing the thing, Chef. You need to buy your gourmet chef gadgets instead of using that plastic. I love mine. Oh, <laughs> what plastic? 
I don't know. <laughs> now, now look at here. Chef is doing it up. Willie C. Right. Stay impressive, brother. All right, there you go. My phone on top of the refrigerator, up close. Salmon with an Asian sauce, sauteed vegetable medley, piped garlic mashed potatoes. You didn't answer the dough, so I'm coming around to the back. <laughs> Come on around to the back. We couldn't get up there. <laughs> Thank We're closer you, to the back door. Looking good. Thank you Let me all. Get a picture of this thing. Man. Let me take a picture. Can't work your phone. And I can't work yours. Wait a minute. Where you get the camera? Let me get it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Aretha. It is a gorgeous plate. It's slow too. Well, let's take it some long for the camera. Cause, Cause you done did fit the eleven things to it. Hey, Chandra Brookins, Lisa Snotty. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon Brown. He is Picasso of presentations. I like that, Mickey Goodman. We hope he is inspiring you guys to put a little extra love in your plating. Thank you, there Dora you Burgess. <laughs> Dora McKnight dropped the mic. Thank you, Sabrina. All right. That's for dessert. That's it. We're done, son. We done, son. Vegetables are where I want them. Boom. That's it. So let's taste it right quick. All right. Chef gonna taste it. Chef did right that. All right. Thank you, Fanning John, for blessing. Yeah. Mm. Texture's good. My mouth just wore it. A little sauce. Is it good, baby? Yeah, it's good. It's good, isn't it? Big potatoes. Garlic mash. It is good. Georgia said, y'all done learned me something new. Thank you, Howard McNeil. Good to see you on, brother. Plum, please and pleasures. Hope Those you are pleasures. well. Thank you, Lord Harris. And looks real good. Almost better than mine, but for real, it looks like amazing. I need to learn sauces like you. Keep watching, brother Lord. Thank you for your input. That's it? Yes. It's been fine, but we're going to have to run, y'all. That's yes. salmon. With a little Asian twist on it, sauce down, uh, crispy skin on the salmon. I just made some mashed potatoes and torched them. Um, Pipe them and torched them. Pipe them in and torched them. Mm -hmm. And then talk to you some vegetables real quick. Yes. A meal of an hour. Everybody's eating at dinner table. That's right. It's been a plum, please, and pleasure. Thank you for your prayers, love. Thank you for those shares. And yes. Those Thank you for subscribing to YouTube. Cooking with Kip as well. Yeah. And uh, cooking with Kip Bacon too. Yeah. So thank you. Have a good day. Elder Lee, Miss Regina Lee, Miss Maddie, you get ready to fix your plate. Yes. It's time to eat. It's time to eat. Thank y'all for the love. This is my toast. My peach bellini. Y'all have a good one. Cheers. We will see y'all tomorrow. I'm going to try to do the ordination live. So thank y'all. Hey, Donna. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good night.